Okay, wife, we are uh, headed to the Reawaken America tour here in, uh, what is this town? Batavia, Batavia New, York, New York. Rochester. And uh, we're going down to meet Dina. Dina. Okay. Who we haven't seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see Dina in some of my videos from uh, when we were in Israel. Uh, uh, one of Donna's family's old friends. And uh, this is the hotel we've been staying at. And uh, a little baby down there. But here we are. Here we are. Here we go. are, ready to go. Elevator videos are always my favorite. There's something about a video in an elevator um, that's uh, intriguing to my eye. But you look beautiful, my wife. And uh, I'm uh, sure it's going to be a, a, a fun day today. But. You know, meet uh, Llewellyn and Dina now, right out here. Are they in the car or are they in the lobby? Yeah. Have to really drive. We can sit in the back. Yeah, drive us, Lou, please. <laughs> Hello, Dina. Hi, John. My computer in the car today. You hate the way I drive. I drive too slow, and I don't know it's yours. So, are we going like straight there? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, hello, Dina. Okay. Look how skinny. Oh, look, we look cute together. Oh, it's yeah. like got our long black jackets, all in black. I love this it. This is it. I'm loving the like new Like Johnny look. Cash. I'm loving the new Yeah, version. I grew my hair long enough. I love this. Uh, I do it for him. Yeah, Don A braids it for me. You know, you're in, uh, uh, in Trump land when you see this as you're driving by. The Trump 24 uh, semi truck. Make the farmers great again. Um, yeah. yes. Make the farmers great again. I want to be a farmer. <laughs> and there's the Harley Davidson, of course, supporting uh, Donald Trump. Okay, we're pulling up Not next to the cornfield. Children of the corn. <laughs> Children of the corn. <laughs> oh my goodness, look. Oh Lord, we got the this state police classy, in front of us. They the said there was, I just uh, Googled something and they said there was a caravan uh, coming here. Maybe it's these truckers. Yeah, there's a bunch of truckers. It is, because they'll have people driving in from all over to come. Hey, there's, what's her name? She's who we need to talk to Deb. right away. Deb. Why? Debbie. <laughs> and the, the American the flag American jacket. American yeah, I love it. She lets the Throw your window down and say, hey, Deb. Pass. Deb. <laughs> Where do we go, Deb? There's the this news. Way. news go that way, John. Oh. You look great, Deb. News number four. You look beautiful. Yeah. Brought my flag, flag cover up. <laughs> and my flag earrings and shut up. Here. News force, yeah. Here you can take your phone. We're here. How many do we got? Four. Four? Thousand. Four thousand million. I've got my fingers on <laughs> Doing okay. Yeah. We were watching from the hotel. How's the feed? It's it went out for a little bit. How's it going? Little going? Bit, How's it going? went over to YouTube, it cut out there too, and then it came back on. Oh. So it, it did okay. cut out. There was somebody else on YouTube that has it live. Uh, Freedom something. Yeah, he usually has a bunch of different people streaming it just so that it gets out one way or the other. So these are for your other three guests. Uh, Same thing as like in Virginia Beach. Yes. They can't go to the secure area unless they're with you. Yes, that's okay? fine. Okay. No, they'll be with me. Okay. So, we're, we're so staying together. Um, I'll just give you the lay of the land here. Yes. So this, the tent is, of course, where the main action yes. is. The building over there um, houses the secure speaker area and the media. So at the back corner of this, you'll see where Joe and there's some people standing there. That's mm. the entrance. Okay. On um, this side of the building is it's a hallway. So on this side of the building is our security speaker area. There are armed 
uh, officers on either end of that hallway. Okay, so that's all locked down. And then on the other side of the building is where His Glory and Media is. Good. That's what and I'm going to And there's a little pass-through. The, the big, tall, black um, officer in there, his name is Sean. He can direct you if you need help. Right. Okay, Sean. And then there are vendors inside and outside oh, okay. at the far down on at the other that, side. on that other side. Okay. When you come out of that um, door and you just walk straight across, you'll come to the backstage area where Aaron and Clay are. Great. Okay, okay good. Yeah. So then you're all set. And where do we park? Just pull, you... pull in here okay. and kind of go down around those cars and you'll find, awesome. you know, just okay, great. find a spot in there. Okay, this all is right. cool. Okay. All right. I get to hug you. I know. So Deb in the too. back there is Dina. She's a really good friend of my dad. Hi. She's a minister nice with him. Nice to meet him. you. I brought her to, to okay. check out the action. Awesome. Accident. Well, welcome. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Have a great time, well, guys. Thanks, Let me thanks, know if you need anything, honey. Okay. So go that way, Jimmy. Go that way. Go around the park. Go over there first, I think. Into that building. I have quite the document. She's got her own. She said it was. Do you want to walk around? I do, but I want to check out the speaker area first, just so we know where we go. I wanted to go and get a coffee from. Uh, we can do that. Let's just find that room first. I think it's back over there. Where, it's where it says keep out, is that where you're going? Of course. Let's go back this way. We can take control of our bodies and that we can build a new world before all the It's like let's just follow Don Aaron. Now this is the greatest opportunity in the world for us. Just country down to the yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah. Well, he's got a very big team. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was uh, Donald Trump's campaign photographer. Yeah. Okay. And um, uh, Dina is a dear friend of mine. And she ministered and traveled. I'm telling teach. you, the video that you sent. I can't, they're talking about all that. Well, she listened right. to it. I listened to it. I had to. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm going to come over here and, and see this dessert section. Good look. Damn. Look at that cake. Look at all that. Okay. I might have to get a little plate here. Let's go with one of those. And let's go with a fudge. And another fudge. Voila. She's done this for years. Like, you should see her at a restaurant. And, like, the waiter has no clue. She's just off in her own world. Let's see what's going on here. What are you doing? You want to walk around? We're going to go sit down. And watch for a moment. It's just too crowded. They do keep staying. I just want to make sure I know where everything is. Make sure Clay saw that I'm here now. Watch out. Yeah. Doggy bed. I've been here a long time. 
I was telling you about. In Gates. So go back that in five seconds. I want you to play and listen to what he says. And I encourage you just to listen to it, okay? And then just think about it. Go for it. Time machines. But even in democracies. And maybe most importantly, really oh, this was the moment when surveillance stand over started there? going under the skin. You just want to stand over there? Because really, we haven't seen anything yet Not going under the skin. Hmm. Let's play it back. Go back 10 more seconds. Let's do it again. Gee, I wonder how it went under the skin. Shock him out of it. Okay, go back. Let's go. Okay, Donnie. Sit in a small number. I'm going to sit in class. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did he not just say whoever you want to choose is the one who told the world who this man is? You're sitting in the attorney general seat. <laughs> like, nobody knew. Said, at them as if something was wrong with you, who took time to look and do your research and realize not only were you right, but you needed to share the word no matter what it cost you. I know a lot of us lost friends and family, we were ridiculed, we were told that we were wrong, and guess what, as time will tell and time is revealing, future proves past has never been more real than it is right now because it's all coming out. Food trucks over there. I'm gonna go check out, see what's going on, see this whole event, this venue. Eric Trump's about to go on. Jim Brewer, Pastor Locke, Pastor Greg Locke. They're all about to go on right now. Just uh, kind of chilling outside. How's it going, buddy? Boom! There he is. Right there. Right. 22 kilo coffee here. Oh, uh, you got to get some, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. John P. Trump. He's gone. He's gone, sir. Patch. He's gone. Yeah, I'm good. It's part of the, uh, the restoration movement. Yeah? See that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll give you one of your own. Please. Excellent. I'll take my own. Y'all like the sure, get it. Uh, I'm a tattoo artist. Are you? I, uh, uh, I'm actually retired from tattoo artist okay. now. But, uh, I used to have one work for me. Okay, we got Chandler here, and he's uh, he's made me a cup of uh, of his 22 kilo coffee, which I have gone through mine at home, but I've never had one made by the man himself, uh, uh, Chandler. So uh, he has done the the press and all that, and let's see what what what's the next step here, Chandler. Sure. So our coffee is organic and single origin. We grow it at high altitudes at 6,000 feet. 
So what that does is it provides you more of the health benefits of the bean, but when that fuses with the caffeine, it provides you with a stay mental focus without the crash, and it lasts for hours. See, that's what I like, so without the crash. No no mold on this coffee, no aquatoxin on the coffee, so it's not gonna give you the jitters, it's not gonna give you anxiety, and it's a super clean caffeine bean. Super clean caffeine bean. So next step is we're gonna pour the water. I've already ground. He's already ground that up. Already ground the coffee from French press, which is a coarse grind. Mm -hmm. And then we just pour the water, and then we'll start making some circles to cover all the grounds. Make sure everything's. Man, that smells amazing. That smells so dang good. So in, in the morning, when you come by, we'll make we'll make an aero press. But today, for these purposes, we're doing the French press. We are with Mr. General Flynn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go grab something for Roy. So what do you army guys think of General Flynn? Amazing, amazing. He's the first general. I have to say, so when I met him the first time, I told him that he's the first general I ever met without one of my buddies dying. Oh. So that really, you could see that it it registered with him. Uh -huh. I was like, sir, I've never met another general outside of one of my buddies dying. Man. That's really the only time the generals came out. But I did find out we served in the same area of operation in Iraq. Oh, wow. So we served in, um, uh, he specifically served in the green zone. But we had a battalion talk that was located in the green zone. And so we would go there every morning and pick up our interpreter. So I told him that. He's like, well, where was that in, in, in relation to, to the green zone? I was like, well, it was in the green zone, but it was located right next to where the uh, special forces would uh, target practice, their shooting range. So, so you were right there with Flynn, same time? Same time, yeah, same AO, all that. Awesome. Um, so yeah, we were a lot closer to each other than than, than we thought. Did you tell him that? Does he know yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah totally. That's cool. This awesome. is like everybody who was sitting at the table. He just went, <laughs> turned to me, and it was like we're just reminiscing about that time. Huh. Yeah, it's really, really nice. That's cool to hear, man. It really so we is got cool. We got to talk about our veterans program that we have through our ministry, the Voice of Healing. We got to talk about uh, 22 kilo coffee I mean, and the current state of veteran affairs. And, uh, he, he and his brother Joe are on board with what we're doing with the veterans program and uh, are really helping us out at their uh, level, at the national and federal level. That's really cool, man. It's great to be in partnership with both of those those gentlemen. So what we do now is, is basically we just wait uh, five minutes. It's generally a good steep time for the coffee. And once that happens, then we'll take the plunge. Let's push take it down. The plunge. And then we'll throw it in one of these, uh, these cups. Okay, let's take the plunge. 22 kilo coffee plunge. Plunge. Okay, he's gonna do All the right, plunge. Guys. We're now plunging TNT dynamite. <laughs> See, my wife loves that. That's that Louisiana French in you, huh, right there. He knows all about that. Ooh, a Cajon. Oh, wow, okay, that looks great. And uh, from the man himself, uh, 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 Mr. Chandler, okay, I will take a cup of this. And it's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. One more little cup on there. And I'll come back here with my wife here in a little bit and get her a cup, too. She's just sitting over there. She wants to see uh, uh, Eric uh, uh, speak. But I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to check out these uh, this food truck. Good talking to you, Chandler. Thanks for the coffee. There we go. 22 kilo coffee. Okay, we got some food trucks here. There's that. See a, uh, a big smoker over here. That's kind of what I'm looking at. You know me, I like the barbecue. Let's see what they got on here. Looks like they got some chicken, some chicken. Yeah, a bunch of chicken. And it smells great. It smells so good. Sitting there smoking. It smells like some, it smells like some mesquite. And over here we got uh, some pulled pork, barbecue, 
ribs, brisket, chicken, Center Street Smokehouse. Uh, let me see some mac and cheese in there. Over here we got some Spanish food, we got meat pies. I like meat pies. Those are good. Kebabs, you never go wrong with the kebab. More Spanish food. Got the Kona ice over here. Uh, Eric Trump's about to go on. So I'm gonna try to make it back in right now so we can see Eric Trump. The awards show, these guys would crush it. They would not it. I'm for crazy pandemic and human slavery in the world going through COVID-19. <laughs> 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 Down there to the right. Which yeah. we'll 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 okay, yes, yeah. Looking good there, bro. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Most of them, a lot of them are, but we'll never admit it on stage. 
And I sure as hell like to and what they do to us every single day, and the teacher games, and how they weaponize politics against our family every single day, honestly. As the FBI was raiding and rummaging through Melania's closet, I wasn't even shocked. I honestly wasn't even shocked. I'll never forget, I called my father. Right? I was the guy that told him, I go, you know the FBI is at Mar a Lago right now? He goes, he goes, we have such a good relationship with them. I wonder why they're there. They're literally like, I go, I can tell you why they're there. It's called one person. It's called Joe Biden. A anybody who thinks that Joe Biden didn't put them up to this is crazy. By the way, a local field office is not raiding the former president of the United States House, especially Donald Trump, right? And especially Mar-a-Lago. Without the sign off of the President of the United States, trust me, every single one of them would have been fired had he not given the sign off. Give me a break that Joe Biden didn't know this, right? So they passed the one one hundredth of what Hunter Biden did. Prostitutes, crack, illegal deals all over the world. Guys, I'd be in jail for the rest of my life. Be in jail for the rest of my life. You know, Hunter Biden's wife threw out a loaded firearm in a supermarket dumpster. In 2018, Secret Service went and retrieved that, right? He was no longer even in office. Secret Service went and retrieved that gun. Do you think if I threw a loaded pistol away? I'm sorry, let me repeat that. Do you think if Laura Trump threw a loaded pistol away in a supermarket parking lot, how do you think they would have treated me? Do you think I'd be in jail for the rest of my life? If I lied in one of those beautiful yellow forms that we've all filled out because we're all gun owners, I filled out about 400 of them. <laughs> And after you get through your name and social security number, first question, are you the actual owner of the firearm, fire of the firearm? Second question, are you taking any illegal drugs? Are you in the possession of any illegal substances? Do you have addiction problems? You know, he checked. He checked no. Yet on his laptop, he's smoking crack pipes, right? I mean, do you think Eric Trump would have been in jail for these antics? 100%. So, so I spent more time on the phone with Cash Patel this week than I have with my wife, right? By a lot. By, by the way, by many, many times. That might be not actually be a good analogy, but man, you want to talk about a guy who gets the deep state and who fought the deep state every single day? Cash Patel is him, right? Amazing guy, but you will not find a group of, of fighters. And we had to fight, guys. That's all they did. They came after us. The deep state does not like us. And you know what, there used to be a lot of chants. I talk about this all the time, right? You start chanting, you know, lock her up in terms of Hillary, right? We had to chant drain the swamp, right? We had to chant build the wall, everybody remembers that. But we had drain the swamp. Yeah. And look how accurate that damn chant is. My father kind of started it. We must go into Washington, we must drain the swamp. Now he said this in 2016 before the circus that we've seen over the last six years. You want to talk about intuition? He exposed. I actually think that the thing that the anti law enforcement. By the way, the cops to all law enforcement in this room, and there's a lot of undercover guys and everything else. Just thank you. We love law enforcement. We're not a big fan of the lawyers at the top of the FBI. Eric Trump speaking over there in the tent. I'm over here playing in the corn, like Children of the Corn. And we all remember that movie. Uh, it's kind of weird here in upstate New York. I find myself in the middle of a cornfield. Oh my God! That is, that is amazing. There's a bald eagle flying over the reawakened America <laughs> tour. got Bo on the Epoch Times. Epoch Times is awesome. Thank you, thank you. Just, it's a blessing. Okay, all this is going on. 
Madonna found the dog. Hello, cute doggy. It's so cute. A little bag, a little doggy in a bag. Doggy in a bag. Well, the Reawaken America event's happening uh, over there, and I found uh, this chair here by this little farm, and over here by the, the cornfield. Kind of sit here and get away from it all and kind of reflect on a. Uh, and what's happening here, what's happening in America, in the world. And uh, yeah, I say before, sometimes you gotta find yourself just a quiet little spot to think and ponder, you know, develop an idea. And uh, I found my little spot here in this chair in the cornfield. I'm gonna do my thing, sit here and ponder. I'm a ponderer, Petro, I ponder. Between himself and Roger Stone, which is the game where our assist community is anxious to get their hands on. I can't wait till they get them. They spend three months and they say nothing whatsoever. We have Pip Clement. And now they go for you. It's the daughter of the late great Pip Clement. Don A. Clement right here on stage with you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand here with me. Andrew Clement. Clement. So I, I just wanted to, to uh, really give you some thought. 9-11, 1996 is all this happening. That is when things started to change for our family and our lives. A gift that was in my dad uh, became... Yeah, exactly. And you took the American flag and you said, I'm proud of my nation. You raised it up. And God said, you have been determined through your prayers to influence this nation. You want to be your influential person. The Spirit of God says, you are going to come up to you as a king. I will open that door that you put it out. What is doing? There's more to that. He said the two would step down from the embarrassment of what would happen. Now, we are the city of God that's coming back to the city of God because it's no longer, no longer, no longer when you take them out of the room, you're not going to use them. Here, Pastor Bill Hobson Power. This is his band from Influence Church here. 